Tapi yang present was the leader administration of Sir Hablo, who was the third British resident in Perak. Taiping Prison Complex, which established in 1879, the first prison complex, yet the oldest modern prison in Malaysia. During the establishment, this was the largest prison in Malaysia. On the map, the prison located at Jalan Taming Sari, Taiping District of Perak. In details, Taiping Prison is in the Taiping Lake Park area and intersect with Jalan Taming Sari, Jalan Kamunting Lama, Jalan Lumba Kuda and Jalan Taman Tasik. Nearby the building that can be seen, the Perak Museum, Klayapo Secondary School and the Hotel of Seri Malaysia. For the construction cost of Taiping Prison, it was approximately about 50,000 ringgit Malaysia. The material that has been used for built Taiping Prison is wooden formwork and concrete brick. The materials that used for the construction Taiping Prison building were imported from England through the British East India. On 31 January 2005, the inauguration of 425th of Taiping Prison was held. This inauguration was launched by the King of Perak, Sultan Azim Shah. During the opening of the ceremony, Tuanku have been said that the prison is prominent only to ensure that the prisoner who is guilty being sentenced. It's also including health, medical, nutrition, dress as well as skills, social and spiritual development. At the end of the speech, Tuanku hopes that the Taipei prison can maintain their glory with making a history on introducing more innovative and creative of rehabilitation. Here is the list of memorable date of recognition that has been happened in Taiping Prison. On 1879 is a date of the establishment of Taiping Prison. It was managed by British officer from 1879 to 1960. On 1881, there was a sick order were brought in to assist Malay warders and vocational trainers were brought in from Hong Kong to introduce prison industry. An exercise was introduced to place inmates into Kelenji to 1924. The system of visiting justice was introduced. Prison industry had been developed and include printing works, clothes production, sewing and rattan, and iron working. Soon, stone working was hated and replaced with coconut huts. After the Second World War, prison condition was improved by modern administrative methods and modern treatment concepts were introduced. On 1941 and 1945, the Taiping prison was used as a public prison and also a Japanese prisoner of white detention center. It was during this period that all the records about the prison and inmates were destroyed. Here is the activities that have been done in Penjara Taiping Perak which is iron working and coconut the husking that be done by the prisoner. Taiping Prison was built on strip of land with an area of 5,159 primary hectare during World War II during the Japanese occupation of 1941 to 1945. Taiping Prison was used as a public prison and it also as a detention center during the Japanese War. During this time, all records of the prison and its detainees were destroyed. Taiping Prison, better known as the Taiping Ghost, was built in 1879 and it is the first and the oldest prison in Malaysia. In 1881, Punjabi Warden was brought in and in 1880, European Warden was brought in to assist in prisons management. Unfortunately, during the Japanese occupation in between 1942 to 1945, all records related to the prison and prisoner were destroyed. Each building erected can accommodate up to 50 prisoners only. During the beginning of the construction of Taiping Prison, it was actually known as 
Larut Prison and later changed to the Taiping Training Center Prison on 9 January 1992 through the government gazetteer KDN.S171-1355PN PU163-11 the name of Taiping Prison was given and the name has remained until today. The main purpose of Taiping Prison rule at that time was to imprison the member of the Gen P and Hai San Gang. Who is Gen He? Who is Hai San Gang? Let me explain to you. Gen He, Chinese secret society that flourished in Malaya in the 19th and 20th century. During the 1800s, many Chinese migrated to Malaya, bringing their secret society with them. The Gen P has strong branch organization in Pinin. Its membership consists primarily of Cantonese speaker from southern China. The KNP was a semi-legal society internationally controlled by attacking ceremony based on China cosmology and philosophy and strong sessions for breaking the society rules. Hatred among different linguistic groups in China continues in Malaya, especially between the KNP, which is Cantonese, and Haisan, which is Hakka. Society in Larut Terra and profoundly influenced even on the peninsula. In Terra, welfare between the two societies over possession of tin mine was mediated by a British media agreement called a Chinese engagement. In 1874, a similar situation occurred in Selangor. The Ken He gradually declined in power. As British authorities spread throughout the peninsula after 1874. For next, we will present to you about one of the most historical moments at Taiping Prison, and we bring to you an exclusive interview in between the ex warden of Taiping Prison during that time. He will tell us about the prisoner with the most historical story. Let's be heard that. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, saya seorang pegawai, pesara pegawai penjara di Taiping. Uh, di sini saya ingin ceritakan salah satu rekod sejarah di penjara Taiping ialah panduan yang paling lama meringkuk dalam penjara iaitu hampir-hampir kira-kira 31 tahun dua orang panduan iaitu Saleh bin Talib dan Jamil bin Ahmad mereka ini merupakan bekas panduan yang dibebaskan pada tahun 2006 sejak dipenjarakan dari tahun 1996 uh, atas kesalahan melakukan jenayah rombakan senjata api pada tahun 1976 uh, Peristiwa sejarah pembebasan mereka pada tahun 2006 berlaku setelah ianya mendapat uh, pengampunan daripada Duli Yang Maha Mulia Sri Padukura Baginda Yang Tuan Agung pada masa itu iaitu Sultan Abdul Halim iaitu Sultan Kedah uh, Perkara ini iaitu pembebasan kedua-dua banduan, banduan yang paling lama sekali di penjara Taiping ini telah mendapat perhatian yang meluas daripada pihak media di Malaysia.
managed by the Malaysian Prison Department. It has an additional glamorous profile as a tourist attraction because of its British colonial past and architecture. Usual building design of Martin prison was introduced by Spooner that was suitable to the local climate and culture. Elements including courtyard, jet roof, large overhangs and the Victorian front gate and column. Building material for Taipei prison were import from England through the British East India Company. Its early physical structure consists of nine foot high wooden fence and five interconnecting semi brick buildings. Each building could house only 50 prisoners. During the past year of 1879, a Taiping prison was built and become a largest prison complex. A Taiping prison was built in a land that measuring 5,159 hectares by a prisoner of war. The construction method that have been used to build a Taiping prison building is by a conventional construction method. Taiping prison building was built in 1879 and used a traditional construction method to build a Taiping prison building, which is used a wooden formwork and concrete brick. All the physical structure that have been constructed in the building consists of 9 foot high wooden fences and 5 interconnecting semi brick building and all of the construction of the material of the Taiping prison building were imported from England through British East India Company. According to a development of a modern world, Taiping prison also do some modification and upgrade in terms of their building. During the past year of 1879, there are only used a wooden fences as a floor and the wall of the building used a semi-concrete brick material. Those modifications and upgrades can make a building become extremely flexible and can be reinforced to protect against high wind and any damage. Typing prison also have changed their color paint of the building into a different tone of color which is white, green and yellow. Although a typing prison has built for a long time ago which is in the past 1879, this building still retains their interior design and decoration features and did not change anything until now, which is in the year of 2021. Basically, the material that have been used in their interior decoration are concrete brick, pole and paint. They decide to retain the interior design and decoration of the building because Taiping Prison is one of the first prison complex in Malaysia that will become one of the heritage building in Malaysia.